Hey Saber fans, a company called Saber Forms sent me a lightsaber. I'm excited to bring you an unboxing and review of an Obi-Wan Kenobi inspired hilt from saberforms.com. I'm Gray Paladin and welcome to my saberhood. You can find the lightsaber that best suits you at www.saberforms.com. The website is very easy to navigate, and the sabers are categorized between Eco, Elite, and Master Sabers. All the sabers come with a variety of options between Baselit RGB, SN Pixel V4, or Profi. All of those are clearly defined as to what you get with each option. Now, on to unboxing the Saber that Saber Forms sent me. It has a very nice box. The box is very neatly packed for safety and security. It comes with a product manual. It has a tool kit. The tool kit has additional retention screws, the Allen key to tighten the screws, as well as a charging cable. There is a 36 inch polycarbonate blade, and now the hilt. This is a very, very nice design. And me personally, I'm not a huge fan of control boxes, so this variation of, of Obi-Wan Kenobi's uh, hilt doesn't have that control box. And this looks like it is a baselit RGB. Let's get down into our close-up and get our review. This is a good looking saber. Quick dimensions, top of the midter to the bottom of the pommel, it's 12 inches long. The widest diameter is one and a half inches. It has a very shallow blade depth of less than an inch, it's 0.9. It's very, very shallow, as you can see right there. It has no resonance for the speaker. The speaker is right up against the venting here in the pommel. And then it has a weight of one pound and three ounces. So it's a really comfortable weight and balanced quite well with the blade inside. Taking a look at the electronics, this essentially has a removable power core, which is really nice. Check that out there. A base speaker there and this just pops right out has these kind of quick connectors there on the top of the core which connect into the hilt on the inside right there do have a removable customizable SD card here as well and then here is the rechargeable battery it's clearly marked with a positive so you know exactly where to place the battery that way you don't uh, make a mistake there and then here is the USB-C recharge port. Align the arrows here at the bottom of the core with the switch. You'll feel it click and you're solid and ready to go. We have one, two, and three retention screws at the top of the emitter and an additional screw right here below this ring of the emitter. These four in total retention screws really do keep the blade in nice and solid. There's a retention screw here for the LED that's inside. All of this could unscrew, but if you tighten it real good, it's not gonna budge or go anywhere. It's very strong and durable. This grip here with the rings, really, really nice. Feels great in the hand and it's very well balanced. But if you want to grip a little bit higher at the thin neck, it's comfortable to do that as well. And here's a switch with an illuminated ring on the outside of that, and the switch is very nice and comfortable. No accidental presses, but it's a very clear click so you know when you press it. And then here we have the same material as the top, but these are horizontal and these are vertical lines, just like Old One Kenobi. And of course, the pommel is really nice, along with the venting that we saw earlier. To boot the saber up, just press and hold. Power on. 
And then from there, you can activate this with gesture control or you can just tap the button to power it on. You can also power it off with gesture control. There's a lot of features on this and I'm gonna get a nice good wide shot so we can see how this Sabre performs. Power on. My final thoughts on this Obi-Wan SE from Saberforms. This is a great lightsaber. I was pleasantly surprised at the quality of this hilt, and it's so nice to wield and use. The electronics, probably one of the best I've seen in a saber of this quality. The speaker quality is very, very nice. It actually has a full rich bass, and you can hear all of the swings, all of the accents, all of the special effects very, very clearly. I'd say this is one of the best speakers I've heard in a lightsaber hilt of this design. I especially like the switch and the illuminated ring around that switch. It's very easy to operate. It has a nice, comfortable click and you can feel it very easily, but there's no accidental triggers at all. The design or the variation of 
uh, the Obi-Wan hilt I think is very nice on this. I don't have the control box so it's very easy to wield and use for dueling. And with dueling in mind, I know that the blade depth is a little shallow, but it has four retention screws to secure that blade in place. This blade is not going anywhere. It's very strong and it is dual worthy. I know there's always concerns about the thin neck. This thin neck is durable and strong. It is solid metal and there's no issues there. Once you tighten it down good, it's not going anywhere. You can duel with this lightsaber. The grip in the upper body feels really nice in the hand. I really do like the uh, polished aluminum on here. You might think it's gonna hold a lot of fingerprints, but it actually doesn't. It's actually really, really pretty, very shiny, very comfortable, and it always looks good because it's not full of prints that are on there. The blade, of course, is solid. It has a mirror in the tip, which is nice, so it kind of reflects some of the light from the base back down, so you get more illumination all the way to the end. Although I would recommend using a 32-inch blade over a 36, that way the blade is even brighter, reflecting off of that mirror in the tip. I really enjoy the accent uh, gold here, or brass, on the neck. That's really nice. And it just feels and sounds good. The electronics on the inside, very easy operation. There's a customizable SD card. It's removable, which is nice. You can't ask for better options on a Sabre of this value and this cost. So make sure you pick up yours at www.saberforms.com. And I wanna give a big thank you to Saberforms for sending me this lightsaber to unbox and review. This is a great lightsaber and I highly recommend you add it to your collections out there. I'm Gray Paladin. Thank you very much for watching and may the force be with you.